I just landed this morning and I'm going to spend here three days and I'm going to try to take you all along with me as usual. I'm so excited. La Instagram ¿no? Buenos dias chicos, estamos en Madrid. This is Seoul Square and all you can see behind me is all the stands that are um, promoted by the Champions League. Apparently in few days there will be a big football match and they're sponsoring it. So there is a lot of going on. There's a lot of events. There is a big stage just behind me and they're giving free Pepsi and free crisps. So it's fun. Let's go have fun. Hola chicos, this is Calle de Arena. Look how pretty it is. Just walking into Plaza Mayor. Look how gorgeous it is. Look how cute this place is. Mercado de San Miguel. There is so much to look at in this. I am in the Italian Cultural Center. I just went to see an exhibition and that was quite cool, but the location is pretty cool here as well. I'm currently walking through Plaza de los Carros and I'm always fascinated by how many narrow streets 
you can find in these big towns, big cities and find beautiful places like this So I'm walking through the area called La Latina where actually my hostel is and it's a lovely area um, now it's lunch time so not all of these restaurants are open because these tavernas are mostly open for dinner uh, or maybe from like late afternoon it's very cultural in Spain to start nights very late as well and that's something that I love um, so now I am currently heading to some place where to get some uh, tapas and a caña, which is a little copia. So Madrid is full of mercado, and this is Mercado de la Cebada, which is so much quieter than Mercado de San Miguel. And I actually, like, I prefer it because you can actually walk and have a look to the little market. Walking through Mercado de Cebada, I realized that this market is not just based on food. There is a lot of little shops and stores where you can uh, go and there is the tailor and he can work out your suit or you can go to the store and cut your keys or do some other lot of stuff. And of course there is a lot of food as well, but it's just not entirely based on food. Here we are walking again in the streets of Madrid. I am heading to El Rastro, which is a secondhand market. And I love secondhand shops and markets. So I'm very curious. But before going there, I just want to quickly tell you about uh, my lunch experience. I just went to uh, Mercado de la Cebada. And I just popped in a place called La Tapa Ecologica, where I met this lovely lady, uh, Martina, and her husband, uh, Pedro. They are simply amazing. Martina, she's fabulous. She's amazing. She's, she's a very cool lady. That's all I can say by now. And I had um, empanada gallega which is um, let's say a pie maybe a uh, filled pie with meat or whatever you want uh, which is very famous in the Galicia area so it was cool to try something different it was pretty tasty Hola chicos, this is La Gran Vía, which is one of the newest streets uh, here in Madrid, relatively new. Uh, it is now the street of shopping and theaters and basically one of the busiest streets ever with lots of shops. Puerto de Toledo! Buenas tardes chicos! There is a beautiful park on both sides of the river. So I'm gonna walk a little bit through the go those gardens and probably I'm gonna cross back, cross back through the other side and explore that side. And it's so quiet and so peaceful and I have been here to Madrid before, but this is the first time that I'm aware of this place, so I'm 
quite excited to go and check it out, having a walk and take it easy. Tomate cortado, aceite. So it's very simple. I love it. You put the tomato here on the bread. You put some olive oil and some salt, and it's delicious. My trip has come to an end and I am left with my heart full of joy somehow. I love what Spain in general gives me and I always feel so much more empowered when I'm here. I'm so much more energetic and I have, I feel actually young. Um, this doesn't want to be you now philosophical and the, 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 the trait, you know, but I really feel like I am much more energy when I'm here. I feel young, I feel more confident and I'm more happy to to meet people and to talk to people, make phone calls, getting to know some of the knowledge of the, of the, of the places. So it's a bunch of things that I love when I come visiting any part of Spain and in this case it is Madrid and I felt exactly the same as the previous times. So um, as you may have seen I didn't vlog at all the second day that I was here just because I realized that it was such a beautiful weather. I was coming from a work trip and I was a bit tired so I said okay you know what I'm just gonna spend some time at a pool and I spent like six seven hours at a pool and probably you can you could say that. So I hope to see you very soon in one of my next videos and thanks you so much for coming along with me. Hasta luego!